You are watching Endeavor TV with uh, Asus EPC 1001P, which is actually just a 1005 PE um, with uh, XP pre installed and a smaller hard drive of 160GB. It still has the new Intel Atom and 451GB of RAM, 10.1 inch screen display, and I'm going to show you some HD um, videos, Photoshop CS4. Counter-Strike and of course YouTube video testing. Let's start off with a music video which is right now in the regular 360p version. As you can see it plays really smooth. We have the almost lowest possible volume right now if I take it up to the middle. You can hear it's not the best sound but it's pretty loud even if it's only halfway, I don't want to take it to full. Uh, full would be like this. For me, it sounds like I would be in a bathroom or something. <laughs> uh, so let's check out the 700p playback on YouTube videos. Let's buffer it a little bit. And then. I can show that 1080p isn't even nearly possible. I mean, the the sound would be smooth, but the video playback would be just horrible. I mean, uh, you can see here already with the 720p, it's like I don't know three three frames per second, maybe five, but it's horrible. But if you check out other websites, I don't know, like. Uh, Let's go to Engadget.com If you're wondering what I did with my finger, yesterday I took the whole thing apart and when I took off the um, keyboard, it has a metal bottom and I cut myself. So, ooh, we have a new YoYo tablet news. I should write about that and as you can see, really great view under XP with Firefox. But let's go on with some more HD video testing. Let's play a 1080p um, video. And most of it is smooth, but you will see in a bit that the sound um, doesn't fit the video. So. Yeah. Like here when he crashed into the tree, it's just not right. So 1080p isn't possible with the Intel GMA3150. But if I play the same thing in 720p, actually this is the Big Bug Bunny, you can download it for your own testing too if you google it. So this is 720p. And the sound is uh, the sound fits the video, and it plays smooth, so everything's fine. Then, of course, if I just play some regular uh, Divix movie or Xvid movie, it's, it's fine. You only have a small bar on the top and the bottom for 16 per 9 um, video, but what I want to show you here is the viewing angle from the front. It's great, but as soon as we go just a little bit to the side, the white color is changing dramatically. Of course the same thing on the other side, not that great. And from the top it's the same thing. See how the colors change? Not that great. And from the bottom of course, yeah, even more horrible. Um, right now we have the middle brightness, the maximum brightness would be like this. And the lowest brightness like that. So if I don't have any um, <coughs> light in my room then the lowest is even too low. 
So that's only good if you want to sit out in the sun. And yeah, let's check out some photoshopping. Some 5 megapixel pictures here. And don't expect too much of it. As always, it won't be the fastest, but you can use it. It has 1 gigabyte of RAM, so you can upgrade that to maximum 2 if you wish to. But usually I don't see the point, so let me just cut out one part here, insert that back again. If I move it around, you can see it's not the fastest. Then if I just draw something, it's of course no problem, clearly. But if I want to smudge maybe something, like here the edge, sometimes it has to load, it has to load a little bit. So, yeah, not the best experience if you want to use it for more than 20 minutes. But yeah, that's Photoshop. It works. Then let's start Counter-Strike and while that starts I can show you around the system. As you can see here we have the old keyboard from the 1005HA series. Even though this is the new um, one with Intel Atom N450, so this is the 1001P model and the touchpad is actually really great because you can clearly feel the difference between uh, the, the touchpad and the <coughs> normal um, plastic coating here then the mouse buttons aren't the best because they are still only one chrome piece but they are not loud and you can clearly feel when you press the button um, but can't go that much far, that far in the middle. Then the ports. If you want to see the ports, we have a PSU in, VGA out, USB. The fan is uh, running sometimes, but if it, it runs, you can't hear a bit. Let me show you. Right now it's on, but you couldn't hear anything, I guess. So we have two LEDs on the front. The speakers are here on the bottom. On the other side we have a card reader which supports SD and, and <coughs> doesn't leave anything to stick out like with the Samsung. Then we have headphone, microphone, two USB and a network plug. Um, here we have a hybrid um, instant key. So if you want to turn on your computer and just surf the web in 10 seconds you can be on Firefox. That's the power. And yeah, that's, that's actually it. We have some status LEDs here. But yeah, let's play some Counter-Strike. So let's go to new game. Let's say 8 and start. We have a resolution of 800 times 600 right now. And my experience was it was a little bit faster than with Windows 7. But in the end it doesn't matter that much. So let's see. So jump. Go to left and right. It's playable. But it's a pretty old game, so it's actually playable on pretty much any system. And yeah, this was the Asus EPC 1001P for Endeavor TV, Balaj Gal. Um, check out endeavor.com and youtube.com slash endeavor TV for more um, videos and information about this device.